Times you get bashed about tithing, whether you pay your tithes or you don't pay your tithe. So and so you've given us the Old Testament, you know, you've walked us and you talked about it being really initially it was a land tax. So how did we go from and, 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 and I'm, this is the question that's been going in my mind since you started talking, since you said that. How do we go from a land tax to where we have the understanding now in a lot of our churches? You know, as it relates to giving 10% of what you make and all this other kind of stuff. How do we get there? Yeah, so so one of the ways that we got there is through replacement theology. Uh, it's through Christians who uh, uh, errantly believe that um, as Gentile believers that somehow they have replaced Israel. The reality is, is that the tithe never had anything to do uh, with the church. It always had to do with Israel and the temple. And uh, and so, uh, are you there still, brother? Mm -hmm. I'm here. Okay, I'm here. Gotcha. Okay, okay. Uh, and, and so, uh, the fact is, is that uh, the tithe can't be separated from two things. There's two things that you can never divorce the tithe from. Okay. Because it, that's what it was created for. It was created to fund an actual tribe. Levi, this is a this is a real ethnic tribe. Okay. There's no such thing as spiritual Levites, and and maybe even in your group, uh, your church, maybe we got a, a tribe in our church called the Levites or whatever. That doesn't replace these people. Mm -hmm. uh, the 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 tithe was designed to fund the Levites for the work of the tabernacle slash temple. The work of the tabernacle slash temple was the work of sacrificing. An offering mm -hmm. uh, that's what it was for and they did that on a daily basis it was called the daily ministrations of the priest that work never stopped it was mm -hmm. a daily task as a result of doing that daily they could not work other jobs they could not um, work their land because they didn't have land so Yahweh said don't worry about land don't worry about doing anything other than this I will pay you. I will support you through the, the, the tithe or the land tax that the other tribes uh, bring to me. And so um, some time later, as Israel uh, begins to, to grow and, you know, as time moves on, in the history of the nation of Israel, they move out of just an ancient Near Eastern context into what we call the second temple period context right and so the same thing is still happening now there's no longer a tabernacle there's a temple mm -hmm. in fact there's a second temple and uh where's the, the the first one uh was destroyed second was built but the same thing the priests are serving yahweh in this temple and that's all they do and they do it in courses so there are groups of them that come and they they, they live in the temple, uh, some of them for three to six months, they go home and another course of priests come and they did it in this arrangement so that it did not overwork uh, any uh, small group of priests. So there were courses of priests uh, that serve. In fact, David set that up during his time as king. My point is this, is that uh, in the second temple period, even during the time that Jesus came, you still find priests actually serving at the temple. So all of the all of the tithe, this is a real interesting point to make. Okay. In the in the early part of the second temple period, there was a development in what in in, in Judaism called the synagogue. Okay. And of course you saw groups like the Pharisees emerge. Well, this is really important because the Sadducees uh, essentially were were a party of priests, whereas the Pharisees were a party of teachers. Okay. And their emphasis was teaching, teaching the Torah in the synagogue and in the home, whereas the Sadducees were really just concerned with the priestly duties of everything that went on in the temple. So what's really important is that when Jesus came along, uh, in his incarnation, he came, he was born during the second temple period. 
And so they're still sacrificing. They're still doing all of these uh, different things. And, uh, and so what happens now is that Jews are gathering on the Sabbath. They're gathering daily in the temple, but they're gathering on the Sabbath in the synagogue. Here's something that Christians need to know. Okay. Nobody ever collected tithing in the synagogue. Okay. So, so, so in understanding that, that blows this whole notion of collecting tithing at the church away. Because the ecclesia grew out of the synagogue. It didn't grow out of the temple. And Jews never brought their tithing to the temple. I mean, to the synagogue. They always brought it to the temple. Because the Torah instructed them to give it to the priest. Not to the teachers. To the priest. And so if you don't have a standing temple and you don't have a standing priesthood, you have no reason to collect tithing because that is what it was for. The synagogue uh, was where the teachers were, right? And so, so all the Jews that met there on the Sabbath, here's the other interesting thing. They did not even collect offering in the synagogue on the Sabbath because that would have been considered work. So they would have collected an offering that is monetary support for the synagogue during the week. But they would not have even taken that 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 offering up during the Sabbath uh, gathering because that would have been considered work. And so what Christians often don't understand is number one, we're not spiritual Israel. Number two, uh, the the work of sacrificing ended with the destruction of the temple in 70 AD. And historically, the priesthood faded off as a result because they don't have any other work outside of the temple. That is why the Pharisees, even until this day, because their work was in the synagogue and in the home around the Torah, not around the temple. And so when the temple was destroyed, so went the priesthood, and so also went the collecting of tithing. And even the Pharisees would give their tithing at the temple. They never took it to the, um, the synagogue. So when the earliest believers who were Jewish started meeting throughout the week in homes, and even worshiping even on the Sabbath, and then going to the, their uh, gathering on Sunday, the first day of the week. They did not, they were never instructed to bring their tithing there. As Jews, they would have brought their tithing to the temple like all other Jews did. So there is no scripture anywhere in the New Testament that even suggests remotely that early believers brought their tithing to the local uh, house assemblies. As Jews, they would have brought the uh, to the uh, to the temple, and they would have brought offerings on not on Saturday the Sabbath, but on Sunday the first day of the week. They would have brought their offerings there in support of their teachers and ministry leaders. And so the reality is is that it is a complete farce for anybody to suggest that New Testament believers are under uh, mandatory and obligatory uh, tithing requirements, that can't be because not only is there no longer a standing priesthood and no longer is there a standing temple, but the early church believes two things. Number okay. one, Jesus is not only our high priest. Number two, Jesus is not only the temple that was sacrificed at the cross, but number three, and more importantly, Jesus is the sacrifice and the offering that was made once for our sins. So there is no way that a New Testament believer would see the need for an enduring uh, Levitical priesthood because the Bible has already named Jesus our high priest. So, so how are we going to even talk about tithing beyond Jesus? Mm. That man is Deontay Carroll, host of Turn Up the Volume Podcast. Listen, do me a favor. If you like this video, do yourself a favor and hit the subscribe button. Also, tap the bell and turn on all of your notifications to see this 
and more interviews and more shows from my podcast right here on my YouTube page. So y'all hit that like button, tag, share, and subscribe. Y'all be good.